Good morning. Good morning. I'm here with my friend Becca and we're having a really fun day. So I wanted to kind of take you guys along with me. What are we about to go do? Go to the bookstore. Yes, we're going to John K. King in downtown Detroit. It's a used bookstore. It's huge. I've been there. Becca's never been there. So she's about to experience the magic. I'm gonna take lots of clips to show you guys. We have a fun day planned of the bookstore and then lunch and then thrifting. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Yeah, let's do it. Yay! Budgie's Deli and Wine Shop. I gotta get this. <gasps> wow, look at that ivy. So cute. Are you so excited? Welcome back. You should have just seen the follow me around vlog of going to Detroit with my friend Becca. We went first to John K. King, then we went to Mudgy's Deli and Wine Shop for lunch, and then we hit up a Salvation Army in Detroit and then a Salvation Army in Livonia on our way home. So I wanted to show you everything I got because I found some pretty good stuff. So First, let's go over do everything that I got at the thrift store. Okay, let's do, actually, let's do what I, we'll do it in order of where I got it. So at John K. King Bookstore, in case you don't know, it is the largest bookstore in Michigan. It is in downtown Detroit and I'm obsessed with it. It's my second time going and both times I have left with a massive box of books. So here's what I picked out in this trip, no particular order. I've never seen Wicked, I've never read Wicked, but I've always wanted to. So I found a copy of Wicked, a paperback copy, and I'm excited to read it. So that was the first thing. The second thing I got was The Keeper of Lost Things. I was attracted to it based on the cover, as you can see is very beautiful and then once i read the back i was hooked so excited for this like water for chocolate i've never read this i've heard so many good things about it i've always wanted to own it 
and they had like five copies of it. $3.50, I don't know, do you wanna see prices? I guess I should tell you prices probably. So Wicked was $5.95. The Keeper of Lost Things was $4.95. This was $3.50. I got White Oleander. I've never read it and I've always wanted to. And it was seven, hardcover. I got the Pillsbury Cookbook just because it was so dang cute. It was $2.95, but I like little cookbooks like this. They're helpful when I am trying to like create a recipe, but I need like a base to start with. Also got the Frugal Gourmet Cooks Italian because um, I was flipping through it and some of the things actually looked very delicious. So this was $2.50. Next, I got two more cookbooks. I got the Martha Stewart cookbook because I love Martha Stewart. This was $6.50, but it's a hardcover cookbook that I remember, I think my sister has it and I, I feel like I've looked through it because of her. So I got that, A Twist of the Wrist. This is by Nancy Silverton, who is one of my favorite chefs. She makes really great pasta. And so, yeah, this is her cookbook. This one I think was a little more expensive. This was $10, still a great price for a $30 cookbook. But yeah, I just really liked the, it says uh, the tagline of it is quick flavorful meals with ingredients from jars, cans, bags, and boxes. So I just thought it looked really delicious. I liked the pictures, so yeah. Got that one. I bought this one specifically because of the color. It's very old and it's this beautiful, I hope it's showing up on camera, but it's, it might look a little more navy, but it's like a bold cobalt, dark cobalt blue. It's really beautiful. It was $3. It's San Cristobal de la Habana. So St. Christopher in Havana. Um, it's not in Spanish, but it's just the title of it. Um, it's a very old book, but when I actually looked it up, it looked like the plot of the story was good as well, but I got it for um, decor. So I really like the blue color and I think it'll be beautiful. I was looking for a copy of The Great Gatsby because I don't think we own it. I don't know. I can't really get into my library right now and look at all our books. But when I got to the F. Scott Fitzgerald section, I found this one, which was just really beautiful. I like that it says F. Scott Fitzgerald and that it has a black spine with gold writing. And I got this side of Paradise. There was a few different ones, but when I looked it up, this one I learned was his first novel that like made him famous. So, or kind of like kickstarted his career. So yeah, this side of Paradise, I'm excited to read it. And it was $10. Mike and I love good classics in our house. I found this one, which is my absolute favorite. It's called Country Kitchens. And it's a lot of inspiration. That's just really beautiful. It makes me think of kind of like my style when it comes to a kitchen or just home decor in general. Lots of like thrifted, antique, vintage pieces. Very cozy, functional. So yeah, but I also really loved it because when you take off the dust cover, it is bright green. So I thought it was gonna be really pretty to style with in case I needed a pop of color. So, oh, and this one was 650. So, Country Kitchens. Love a good old design book. Okay, so that's everything I got at John K. King Bookstore. Next, we went to the Salvation Army in Detroit and I got two clothing pieces. This is a who, what, where, simple black ribbed tank dress. Um, it has a slit on one side and it's like a midi length. I don't know, it just looked really comfortable. And this was $6.99. And then I found this vintage piece, which I just like couldn't pass up. It's from Demalia. And it is this, I don't know how well it'll show up. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, but it's this white short sleeve blouse. Um, that's really light and flowy, but then it has this really delicate peach floral embroidery and the lines on the collar and on the um, hem of the sleeves. It's just like really soft and subtle and I really liked it. Let me try to bring it. Can you see the, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's beautiful detail on it and I really liked it. And then I got four more books at this store. So I got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. 
because I just don't think Mikey and I have this one. He thought maybe we do, so who knows? Maybe we have a second copy of it now, but these books were 50 cents each at the thrift store. I also got this one, Jojo Moyes, The Giver of Stars. Never read it, but I've heard good things about it, so picked that one up. Also picked this one up, a hardcover, In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I just have seen this book around and I like reading Christmassy books around Christmas. So I picked it up for later in the year. And it's a book of the month book. So it's like a good hard copy, um, good quality. Oh, that'll look cute sitting out for Christmas. Maybe I'll decorate with it. Too. And the last book I got is for Mikey because it just looks so cool. It's called The American President's Biographies of the Chief Executives from Washington through Ford. So this book is from the 70s, but it has a biography, like just tons of cool facts about presidents. In case you didn't know, my husband Mikey is very obsessed with presidents and their biographies and just reading about them. I thought it was cool. There's like a black and white drawing of each president and like their facts and a little bit of their story um, from Washington to Ford. So that is pretty cool. It's also, when you remove the dust cover, it's a really pretty shade of red. So I thought, It'd be pretty to use that and style it. And then I also picked up some, they say they're Christmas candles, taper candles, but they're just white, four white taper candles for $1.99. I love to get my taper candles because I use them so much. I always buy them at the thrift store because they always have them. Then at the last thrift store, I only got two things and they were both clothing items. First, we have this vintage crew neck sweatshirt that is bright green. And again, I'm not sure how well this will, or if I show, there you go towards the light. Can you see that? There's like this embossing texture and there's this logo on it that has trees and the sun and the moon and a bunch of like naturey things. And then it says Alaska at the bottom, but it was just like a really fun, cozy looking, it's an extra large. This was $4.99 and it just looked really cozy. So I liked that sweatshirt. And then I found this super light olive green, like spring jacket. I just like can never have too many jackets. It even has like a little bag. I think you're meant to like, um, oh, a pocketable parka is what it says, but it's from Uniqlo and it was $7.99, but half off. Green tags are half off, so it was only $4. And it's just like a really thin, light jacket that is, I don't know, perfect. I, I'll probably use it for running mostly, but yeah. But yeah, I was very excited for this one. So nice little light jacket. So that is everything that I got at the two thrift stores and at the bookstore yesterday. I hope you enjoyed following us around and hopefully you'll go and check out the bookstore yourself because it is quite the treat and you can spend hours there. Hours. I think we only spent two hours there maybe, but we could have been there for way longer because we finally had to go because our, our stacks of books were getting pretty heavy. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini follow me around vlog and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and share this video with someone that you think would enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.